hear Brother Ren sing, and then we gonna shout out all the fans. Uh, Mr. Jack, <laughs> you already know, man. Church is definitely in the building. They okay. fucking with me, though. <laughs> All right, let's Real. do it. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch. Church on the bitch. Church on the bitch. On the bitch, oh church on the bitch, yeah, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, uh, her church check in, let's go. Minister Jack, it's a new era and niggas is chat. I'm in the kitchen, I'm cooking this crack. Bitch getting taxed in my Benjamin static. Truck in the front and the engine in back. Three K's, everything I'm whipping in is black. Three hoes all wanna sit on my lap. High yellow heifer, I'ma hit her from the back. This is a fact. I'm taking your bitch, I'm not giving her back. Bitch got some kids, I'm not dealing with that. The back of her throat where my children is at. Now what's really the neck? Her mama's a hoe and her sister's a rat. The head was amazing, the pussy was trash. Run up on church and then pistol gon' blast. Get your ass body trying to get to this bag, nigga. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch here. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch, that's church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, see ya, church on the bitch, see ya, church check in, uh, church on the bitch, oh, church on the bitch, see ya, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, yeah, church on the bitch, listen, church check in, let's go. Relinquish the bitch You loving and cuffing to be with the bitch She came in with you but I leave with the bitch I bang and I bang and I skeet on the bitch They be like Jabba conceited and shit I push it to start, ain't no key to my whip Believe in the game, don't believe in the bitch I listen to sin and the rest of the pips You chasing the bitch and ain't chasing the check You look like a bitch when you making them threats You talk how you talk cause you stay from the neck When I see you, no talking, I'm breaking your neck Catch a nigga like and do him dirty on sight Whole lot of bargain but I bet he won't bite Bet a nigga won't roll a dice with his life Double cross church, kid crucified twice, nigga Church check in, 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 church on the bitch here. Church check in, 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 church on the bitch, that's church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, uh, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, see ya, church on the bitch, see ya, church check in, uh, church on the bitch, oh, church on the bitch, see ya, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, church on the bitch, her church check in, let's go. Church, 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 check in. It's your boy, Minister Jack. Listen, I know y'all been looking for me, but at the bottom of this video, in the description section, you see where it says follow me. You can follow me on all social media platforms. You know, make sure you click the links in the description so you can get in touch with me and get in tune with everything I post at all times. You never know, the haters might try to take us down. Also, make sure you follow my backup channel, Minister Jack Church Media. Follow the channel now. We are, we are not going nowhere. We're here to stay. Make sure y'all paying attention. Church on the move. Peace. Minister Jap, I'm talking to you, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I got a kid. I got, I got two daughters and a son. Yeah, man. Black women are bad mothers. And that's why you having a baby by the motherfuckers you had a baby with is your fault. That's why you being a single mother is your fucking fault. That's why being a baby daddy ass nigga is your fault. Live from the church. Church check in. It's Minister Jack. Black women, they're some of the most worst bitches on with money, but yet they're still taking trips and they look fly doing. They are the flyest broken bitches you're gonna ever deal with. On Minister Jack TV. Church check in, man. Church check in. Yeah. Church is 
is here. Share this shit on Facebook right now, niggas. Share this on Twitter right now, nigga. Let me get a one in the chat if you hit the share button already. We're not playing no games, nigga. We came to cook, and cooking is what we do. All right. All right. All right. All right. I am the streets all day. Minister. Minister Jeff. AKA. Brother Beige. AKA. Chapel Luther King Jr. AKA. Light skinned Lucifer. It's time to cook. Shut the fuck up. Hoes getting took. Shook. Cause I'm the Gucci crook. I'm here to bring back the order. Restore the dignity. So you tricking ass, licking ass niggas? Yeah, you. Cause stop being a bum bitch's toilet seat. You are a All single mothers shall suffer. Y'all some broke dumb motherfuckers. Shut the fuck up. All my niggas in the church. We pull out with the rubber. I'm the all-knowing of the hoeing. All these niggas know it. Shut the fuck up. Bring your ass to the church. And I'm a motherfucking show. Time to do this work. Going heavy in the church. Shut the fuck up. Put these pussies in the dirt. I'm about to go scorch earth. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit that share button again. Minister Jap is in rare form. And the church is checking in. Church, 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 church. Talk to me, you pervert. Pervert, pervert, you are a pervert. You are a pervert. You, you, you are a pervert. Per pervert. You're a pervert. You're sick. You're a nut. Pervert. You niggas get your passports and go crazy. <laughs> What's going on, niggas? Hey, man, midday show. You know we here to turn up, nigga. Perfect. You know we here to turn up, nigga. Y'all got to hit that like button, nigga. Hit that like button. Hit that share button, man. Let's get these numbers up. What's going Perfect. on, man? Turn the chat room up. Hit that super chat. Perfect. Speak your mind, niggas. Hit that cash app. Hit that like button. Let's go, niggas. Let's go. We about to have a hell of a show today, nigga. You are a pervert. Part two, nigga. You know how we do, nigga. Special delivery. It's the 126. Cut that shit up, man, sir. Where's my bitch? Open the foot hole. Not up in the throat. Where's my bitch? Open the foot hole. Not up in the throat. I got rich. Open the foot hole. Not up in the throat. Where's my bitch? Open the foot hole. Not up in the throat. Try to tap on the cool can't stop it. We take it, who get slapping? I said, a shooter, go find me. Who's trapping it? I'm on the smoke.
smoking this out of shit. Wanna know where your bitch you been slapping shit? Pulling up drink, this is out of shit. Taking up drill like a pilot bitch. Where did your bitch go? She went to be a hoe. Back up the cake cut, I gotta get the dough. Take all the shit, this a broad day kid though. Feeling drunk back to back, took all the info. Which way, wet way? Where did your bitch go? Stick out the hot stuff, dig on the tip toes. Two R2 and been sliding in Lambo. Cut on my bitch, she turned to a big hoe. Where's my bitch? I'm finna fuck the hoe. Let up in the throat. Where's my bitch? I'm finna fuck the hoe. Let up in the throat. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense. Right. You single mothers raised some of the worst bastard babies ever. <laughs> Fuck your coochie is a uh 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 criminal assembly line manufacturers of mischief you bitches ain't shit bitches ain't shit dot com Salute to the church, man. Check it in early. Chairman Mo, salute to somebody who finally beat Miriam to the punch. <laughs> finally, the brothers are stepping up. The brothers are stepping up in the super check. Say it's time to cook, minister. It's time to bring out the hot fish grease on the sips. Simple forces, baby mama terrorists, feminist hoes, and modern women. Shout out to the church, TBAS. Oh, man! All eight I will get out, nigga. You're a fucking pervert. You're a pervert. <laughs> pervert. Some of these niggas don't care. They're like, yeah, I'm a pervert. Pervert. Put the pussy on my bed. I rub a squirt in my bed. Niggas be letting these bitches just pee on them. Niggas is disgusting. I told, I told you niggas on Facebook, nigga. Squirt is pee. Okay, how you slice it? You can put your swag on it. You can put a scientific twist on it. It is pee. Pee, 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 pee. Shout out to Brown Hornet. Hitting us with that $20 holler on the super chat. Say blessing to the church. Sweet Jesus. Salute, salute. Appreciate that 20 bar. And you know Miriam had to come check in with the church. <laughs> Say hold the minister down, y'all. That's right, man. Y'all, y'all look out for your minister, man. We gotta keep this shit rocking and rolling, man. We gotta get we gotta get to a hundred thousand subscribers, man. That's all I want, man. All I want is the YouTube play. That's y'all. <laughs> We ain't gonna fuck with no fakes or no phonies to get it, man. We gonna keep this shit real. Keep this shit real in reality. Cause we the real niggas, man. The actual niggas who actually dated. <laughs> These niggas. I got the type of knowledge you can't get from a book, nigga. You only can get from putting your motherfucking two feet on that concrete. You dig? You are a pervert. My man, uh, AC Cali, say, uh, shout out to you for the five. Say, shout out to the church. Told all my army soldiers about Jack. Hey, man, tell them motherfuckers to check in, nigga. Pervert, pervert. And make sure you got your ass on that Patreon. Stop bullshitting, nigga. Stop bullshitting. You know? I see too many y'all niggas over there supporting motherfucking uh, registered sex offenders, registered rapists. <laughs> and 
man. I know that inexperienced white bitch keeps popping up on your algorithm like she knows something about something. You are a pervert. Just stealing things. We do not support or condone that. Some dumbass nigga said, you should do you should do a video with just stealing, just stealing things. Y'all are both from Chicago. Get the fuck out of here. Told that nigga to sign up for the mailing list on eataddick.com. Hey, let it happen. You are a pervert. Time to power up, nigga. Cold Pepsi. Heart attack, Jeff. Heart attack, Jeff. I'm telling you, they gotta have your boy on a Pepsi commercial, nigga. They gotta put me on a Pepsi commercial, nigga. Don't nobody support Pepsi like me, nigga. Nobody, nigga. Nobody. You know, I'm a pervert for that Pepsi. Pervert. Tell the bitch, tell the bitch, put some Pepsi on the pussy. Put some Pepsi on the pussy. Pervert. Sprinkling Pepsi on these hoes. Give me the pussy. Eat pussy, man. If, if 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 pussy tastes like Pepsi, count me in. Count me in, nigga. I'm eating the motherfucking uterus out of a bitch. Pussy tastes like Pepsi. Wow! <laughs> Yikes! You know what I'm saying? What's going on, niggas? We know these bitches ain't shit. They still running their goddamn mouth, man. Hey, man, if you ain't following me on Facebook, you're doing yourself a disservice. If you ain't following me on Instagram, you're doing yourself a disservice. I talk shit heavy. Trick, the trick, niggas, you definitely get cooked. You know what I'm saying? You know, pussy, but the pussy purchasers, they definitely get cooked. You know what I'm saying? Fat holes get cooked. Ugly holes get cooked. You know what I'm saying? Holes with kids get cooked. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, sex workers get cooked. We have a blast on my social media. So, ladies, bring your fat ass and your lace front to my Instagram and my Facebook. Come on. I know you got your degree. Come on now. Try me. Try me. Try me. I'm with the shit. I love making you fat hoes mad too. Cause fat hoes always think, especially flat, fat black, fat black women just think that they have the leeway to talk. But it's partially you niggas fault that I have to argue with fat, confident bitches. There should be no confidence in a fat bitch. But you niggas will fuck anything that jiggles. You will stick your dick in a gas tank. <laughs> if the gas tank was shaped like an ass, you stick your dick in it, nigga. That's how thirsty niggas are, man. You know what I'm saying? We got the only batch of women who are obese and have a dating life. Fat white women do not have a dating life. I truly don't get it. Why are we so accepting of the obese woman? You know, bitches be 280. Half of it ass, and you niggas go crazy. She can't even wipe that motherfucker properly. You hitting it from the back. You know it stinks, and you're not smelling Gucci. You're smelling ass particles. Feces! <laughs> you want to turn a blind eye. I know, I know you niggas, man. I know you niggas, man. Especially you old niggas. You old niggas are disgusting. You're disgusting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
You guys are disgusting. You know what I mean? And they and they prey on that. You know what I'm saying? You got fat women out here, man, stuffing their ass and and and, and shit that they don't even belong wearing. You know, we got we got fat women wearing some ungodly tacky shit. You know what I'm saying? But they getting hell of attention. Long as they ass jiggle, you can smack them holes on the back of their neck and their ankles are jiggle, nigga. Hey, young players out here, man, do not listen to these old niggas with that Jerome Rome Rome swag. Them old retired niggas, you know what I'm saying? Finally, I'm divorced. Finally, I'm off child support ass niggas. Stop listening to them niggas. Because them niggas, every day, their motivation is ejaculation and not accumulation. You know what I'm saying? Them are not the type of uh, mentors that you need to have in your life. Them niggas are going to fail. Them, them are the niggas that's 50 years old with a newborn. Melvin, 56 years old with a newborn. The old niggas don't believe in God. You know what I'm saying? The old niggas don't believe in condoms, nigga. They get a whip of some young pussy, they're going to lose their mind, nigga. They're going to lose their mind. You know? That's why they want to pay. They want to pay. Fuck all that nigga on the date. You don't have... Again. We're going to get into this today. <laughs> all right? Again, fellas. Any man out here talk about so you going to pay anyway? They are not in the game. They are not into, into today's game. Chances are they're probably living with a bitch trying to tell you this shit. For the people who are actually in the field, you would know that you do not have to take any of these bitches on a date to fuck. If your goal is fucking, dating means nothing. Oh my God. <laughs> It's not required. It's not required. It's asked. It's requested, but it's not required. She can ask and request everything she wants, but none of it's going to happen unless your dumb ass says so. And a lot of you are the dumb asses that say so. Shout out to AZ Cali, man, coming again with another uh, uh, $5 holler. Any comment on the fresh and fit getting exposed to the phone call? Listen, man, we're going to talk about that later on. <laughs> Right now, we're talking about how these bitches of the day, modern ladies, aka black women, do not deserve dates. So I'm here to let you know she can ask and uh, all that shit all she wants. You have got to ask yourself, does she deserve it? Does she deserve it? Half of these bitches don't deserve dick, but you give it to them. But you don't value yourself in the, in the game enough to turn a bitch down. You don't value yourself enough to turn a bitch down. You can't do it. You can't do it. You ain't got the heart. You don't got the heart to do this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? If you turn a bitch down, especially a bad bitch that disrespects you, she will lose her mind. Because bad bitches have never been told no before. Nah, I'm good. Let me take you home, man. A lot of you niggas endure a lot of out-of-pocket shit with these bitches in pursuit of pussy. Shout out to Marcus Romero, hashtag TBAS. He knows the movement. He knows the movement. These bitches ain't shit. These bitches ain't shit. 
and you make them valuable. Men determine the value of women. Men determine the value of women. So for you tricks, what do you determine the value of that bitch that you paid for? That you paying for? She set her value and you obliged. Ain't no way you can alphify that. She told you to take her on a date and you obliged. Told you. She didn't ask. She told you. And you obliged. How can you alphify that? You are taking instruction from the bitch. Shout out to DMV Nation for that 20 ball. You are taking instruction from a bitch. Now you tell me, how can you alphify? How can you red pill taking instructions from a bitch? Taking direction from a bitch, letting a bitch control, letting a bitch win. Tell me how you can alphify that. Because that's what's happening. Minister Jap is these niggas' worst enemy. Because he's not pro tricking. And I, I've exposed it. I exposed the, the way that this game has, 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 has transpired and mutated into this bullshit. The manosphere has mutated into some bullshit. You got gays with blue hair coming in here. They have deemed an inexperienced white bitch with no man who looks like a pilgrim as the leader. They have endorsed pussy purchasing. And niggas have literally made the passport their holy fucking Bible. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? America. America. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shot? Who wants to come back with us to America? America, 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 to America. You niggas don't deserve this game. You don't deserve this goddamn game, nigga. Need to appreciate this game, man. Show some appreciation and hit that like button and hit that share button, man. And share in them Facebook groups. I want to piss hoes off today. I want to piss hoes off today. Shout out to Chairman, man, coming in again with another 10 piece straight out of Hong Kong. It's late night over there, you know what I'm saying? Let's see what the brothers saying, man. Let's see what the brothers are saying, man. Yeah, man. So I said, a lot of the elders in my profession are like the old niggas. Uh, they don't mentor the young and, and don't preserve the integrity of the profession for future generations. That's why these, the kids are now dumb. Yes. We have the worst elders. The worst. Because all these niggas are extra horny, man. Extra horny. They not players. They not smooth. You're not learning no game. These niggas is lame. Shout out to the B. Hashtag TBS, he say, Ty's 
for the plate. Appreciate you on that 20 ball. We got to get some sponsors in the building. Turn this chat room up, man. I want these numbers going through the roof. Let's do this shit. But yes, you niggas out here flying hoes out. Hoes having the time of their life on you dumbass niggas. Some of you niggas not even getting the pussy. Flying a bitch out and she don't give you no pussy. You know what I'm saying? But that's what happens when you lead with what's in your pocket like a trick. You know what I'm saying? Those are the results that, that those are the negative results that come with it. Every nigga always going to tell you it's always a positive. They ain't going to tell you nothing bad about it. Because they'd be embarrassed. Because that means you purchased the embarrassment. In this game, your reputation and your name is most important. Because bitches talk amongst bitches too. Once they find out you a trick, all them hoes going to want to come through and hit a lick. All of them. You think you paying for some discretion? Or oh, I'm just paying the bitch to leave. And the bitch is still a nightmare. She's still a headache. She's still in your business. She's still harassing you. What are you paying for, asshole? These bitches don't deserve no dates. So I'm telling you right now, let them ask away. They can ask all day long. I ain't giving a bitch shit because you don't deserve shit. We need to be way harder on gatekeeping the manosphere. Jack uh, Hammerhands, O'Shea Duke Jackson, and the guys who uh, roll with the undead chronic uh, are the only ones who have tried to keep the sphere and game clean. See, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. The movement over here is TBAS, man. These bitches ain't shit. That's what we stand for. That's what we live by. That's what we die by. That's it. Because ain't no brotherhood. Ain't no brotherhood. Everybody cutthroat each other and all this old goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, I thought I thought it was gonna be a brotherhood. I'm trying to Try to build a brotherhood. That's why I'm just gonna build my own shit. So you know what I'm saying. That it, you free, feel free, hey man. Salute to them. Hope they get that shit together, man. But when I seen niggas support, I'm talking about you know what I'm saying prominent, prominent YouTubers support that white bitch and and the things that she went through on YouTube and didn't nobody support me. Fuck that. I couldn't even get a share, a share from niggas on Instagram. So fuck that. Count me out. Y'all tell me how much does it cost to share a niggas video you fuck, you say you fuck with on Instagram? All you niggas, all you niggas too. You need to hit the share button. But how, how much, how much does it cost to hit the share button? You know what I'm saying? I be sharing everybody's shit. Man, fuck all that, man. But I bet you they share that motherfucking white bitch who, who's inexperienced in everything she's talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Inexperienced. Hey, man. I, hey, shout out to dirty folks, man. Ain't no pain, nigga. It's just, hey, nigga, you live and you learn. You live and you learn, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You live and you learn, man. Niggas, niggas, niggas say support but don't show support. You know what I'm saying? So I know, I know, I know I ain't, you know, I, I know I don't do nothing but support. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and salute niggas. You know what I'm saying? But that shit don't come back. So fuck all that, nigga. Fuck all that. But nigga, we about to get back on these hoes. <laughs> Get back on these hoes, nigga. Uh, 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 black women don't deserve dates part two. Hopefully, we ain't got to do a part three. But if I do, I'll do it. I'll do it. 
I do it. Shut the fuck up. You know, black women don't deserve dates, nigga. You know, you need to make these bitches, and they, they, you need to make these bitches appreciate this shit. These bitches don't appreciate dates to deserve them. You know, these struggling ass bitches, they think that their problems is greater than yours. They act like you don't got bills and shit like that. The goal of black women is to save their money and spend yours. And if you know that, if you know that, you won't be had. You won't be, you won't be a fool for the bitch. She won't get a win in on you. But the more you try to cope with it, the more you try to talk yourself into doing it and saying it's like nothing, the bitch just wins in the end. She's banking on you saying it ain't tricking if you got it. She's banking on that. She loves when a nigga say that. Because most of these bitches know that they don't deserve none of this shit that they asking for. All these bitches are struggling. You know, when you meet both black women, they are broke. Let's be real. It's a bunch of badass bitches out here right now in their 30s living with their parents. Barely making it to Friday, but in the club all the time, glammed up on Instagram, going live and got their inbox full of dicks. And you're going to let this bitch tell you to take her to Rue Chris. Take her to Dale Frisco's. Take her to Maestro's. Take her to State 48. State 48, these nuts! Pervert, you are a pervert. And then, here's the thing, man. I'm telling you, man. Don't be a fool. I was a fool years and years and years ago. I've never went on that traditional shit in almost a, it's, it's, yes, over a decade. Because these hoes fuck who they like and who they comfortable with. Take a bitch on a date and then she goes and fucks a nigga for way less. Less effort. Less stress. Why, Jeff? Because that's the nigga she likes. He living life, he just don't like her back. Stop over liking these bitches too. Keep your fucking poker face. You niggas overdo it with the compliments. We in a damn time where damn near every bitch can look like a bad bitch. They got surgeries for every goddamn thing, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Bad bitch ain't hard to come back. Come back. And bad bitches ain't smart. You niggas let these hoes outsmart you. Hoes is outsmarting you niggas. And just because you're okay with it doesn't mean it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're okay with it doesn't mean that you're not a fool. These hoes are laughing at niggas who take them on these dumbass dates. You got bitches out here literally going on dates with niggas all week for free food and not fucking. And going back to fuck they ex as a side bitch. Going back to fuck they baby daddy as a side bitch. While you're dating her. Let's be real. Any bitch that's talking about she's single still has a sexual partner.
That's what niggas don't want to talk about. These bitches say, oh, yeah, she's single. Oh, she's been single for eight months. Bullshit. She got a fuck buddy. And they fucking buddy. Y'all got to stop believing that these bitches pussy is deactivated because they alone. That's how most of you niggas get cheated on. You think your bitch go out to the club with a deactivated pussy? She just took, she just took the, uh, you took the car charger out for the pussy and she, her battery, you just, you just took the battery out the pussy and sit down here with a, with a, with a, with a, with a unpowered pussy. Nigga, her pussy been charging all day. Just waiting for a nigga to say the right motherfucking words, nigga. You taking her on dates and shit, she got her pussy on silent. When that, when, when, when that, when that fuck buddy call, her pussy on vibrate. Hallelujah. All this shit, man. Shout out to EV, man. Fucking them hoes in the motherfucking funeral home, man. We see you out here, bro. You want to talk about a grimy nigga. You ain't, you ain't met my nigga EV. Nigga, EB got the hoes in the funeral home. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? That nigga be consoling hoes, nigga. Come get your bitch consoled around this motherfucker, nigga. Shout out to EB. He say, women leave their men uh, to take their natural place as a side chick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they surely do. They surely do. No woman is going celibate. That is a myth. That is a myth. You know what I'm saying? If all y'all niggas hold out on taking these bitches on dates, what are they going to do? They not going to fuck? If all you niggas stop tricking right now, what do you think these bitches going to not fuck? They going to fuck you or they going to fuck each other. But they going to fuck. They going to fuck. I'm, I'm letting you know. Ain't gonna be no, uh, you know. I'm I'm saving myself for my husband. bullshit. Save that for a nigga who will believe that dumb shit. You know, and a lot of you niggas kill me because y'all believe the dumb shit. Why do you believe a bitch? Why do you believe a bitch? It's a bitch. It's a bitch. Bitches lie. Bitches lie. That, that, that's what they do. Why are you? Why are you just believing this bitch? You know, and you niggas gotta stop thinking you're special. Stop thinking, nigga. Trust me, man. Your bitch right now got a runner up. Every nigga's bitch got a runner up, man. That's something niggas gotta cope with, man. Uh, shout out to TW man with the five dollar holler. Say a lot of black women are becoming drunk drivers too, going state to state selling that tuna fish. Yeah, pervert, you are you are you are a pervert popping that fish, selling straight tilapia in Tennessee. Slinging that goddamn seasoned Cajun style red snapper. You know? Yeah, you niggas is crazy. Shout out to It's Gotti TV for the two piece. He's a pervert. He looked like a pervert. <laughs> Gotta call my nigga the cod god. Where my nigga at, man? Cod god. This nigga's wow. He's a cod god, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. 
These bitches, man, ain't worth a damn. See, I, I just, I just love having this knowledge because it's like having a cheat code to life. I told you, man. How a man deals with women is going to determine how long he's going to remain successful in life. Because most of you niggas get success and fuck it over be with a woman. Thus P. Diddy. And we can name a list of others. R. Kelly. You know, endless football players. How they deal with women. They didn't lose, they didn't, they didn't lose their career on the field. They lost their career with the bitch at the house. With the bitch at the club. With the bitch. The only loss Floyd Mayweather ever had was when a bitch kicked him in his dick in the courtroom. You're not going to tell me he wasn't tricking on that bitch. Look what it got him. You don't need to be paying for your punishment. Most niggas with bitches are suffering right now. Bitches are, are like little kids. They're fun till they ain't fun. You know? They, fu they fun till they start fucking shit up. That's the bitches of today. The All they do is fuck shit up. You know? Most of the time you niggas trying to achieve something great. All that shit gets slowed down when the bitch gets involved. You know, a bitch will slow down your process, uh, your, your progress because she don't want you to leave. You moving too fast. You ain't moving at her speed. Slow it down for her. No. No. Because these hoes will not slow down for you. You know? And you, and going back to this dating thing, for these bitches to be out here making demands Making a wish and checking it twice. You have not asked yourself, what has she done for you to get this? It's just a date. No, it's not. It's a statement being made. It's a statement being made. See, they changed the game. The, the game used to be nice where we could be nice to bitches, be chivalrous. They have articulated themselves out of that treatment. They have sister girl themselves out of that shit. Independent boss bitch in their way up out of that shit. Stop, stop. Obliging to the terms of the bitch. And that's what I'm seeing. A lot of these niggas are alphafying that. Acting as if they're not submitting to the bitch. You are submitting to the bitch. That's a principle that we do not stand for. That makes you less of a man. That's why no woman ever respects a trick. Even if a nigga is tricking on a bitch, she's still going to fuck the nigga she like. Shout out to Black Samurai. Say these women are not wife material. They are pipe material. Talk heavy. Yes, sir. See, recreational use, man, is just what it is. It's recreational use. They are to have a good time. And that's where it stops. You have a good time with a bitch and that's where it stops. Ain't nothing real. You're not going to get no loyalty out of these bitches. Not for long. Because bitches, love and affection is all conditional. Men, I'm going to be honest with you. Ladies don't give us props as men. We put up with a lot. We endure a lot of y'all bullshit. Because y'all change once y'all get a man. Y'all get comfortable. Y'all get fat. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get argumentative. Y'all mouth off. You know what I'm saying? Niggas start seeing 
how your finances is fucked up, your priorities is fucked up. And we still suffer through y'all. The moment one condition changes with a man, these bitches is gone. That's why I tell you, bitches are not the real lovers. Because none of their love has action behind it. It's just all talk. It's cute. But they're not going to do shit for you. If you think that a bitch is going to do something to improve your life, you are sadly mistaken. Because most of these bitches are not a breath of fresh air, my nigga. That's the truth. You get more motherfucking headaches than head. You get more headaches than head with today's hoes. And these bitches around here talk about that we need to, when we going on a real date. What? You don't deserve nothing. You don't get nothing. You know? These hoes want the rewards of, 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 of traditional shit, but don't want to do the traditional work. They don't want to walk and talk traditional. They don't want to, they don't want to carry themselves traditionally. They thoughts. They are thoughts. They running around here, you know what I'm saying? In their mind, still think that they 20. You know? Sure example of a bitch that don't deserve a date. Bitches that's uh, on, on, on social media all day. Posting pictures. Fuck you. Why would you be the fool? When you know it's a nigga in her inbox that she's either pre prepping to fuck, has fucked, or willing to fuck. Because these bitches of today do not cut off exes. We do. Bitches don't. Ain't no nigga exempt. Any nigga can get cheated on. Are you prepared for it? Are you mentally prepared for it? Do you expect it? Do you expect it? We got hoes out here still calling their exes for their birthdays. Wishing them happy birthday. I don't know. You niggas call your exes and wish them happy birthday? You, you niggas? I, I don't. <laughs> I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure wh who raised these motherfuckers. I hope them hoes get cancer in the asshole. God's going to put a cancer in the butthole. God's going to put a cancer in the butthole of every sodomite. Every sodomite butthole will get cancer in the butthole. It'll burn and burn and burn. They won't be able to sit down because of the burning in their butthole. He can't sit down. He's got a burning in his butthole. He's got a fire. He's got a flame coming out of his butthole. God's going to have a flame coming out of your butthole. You're going to have a flame coming out of your butthole. If you thought that AIDS was bad, you ain't seen nothing yet until you see the flaming butthole. Your butthole will be flaming and you will not be able to sit down until you have a flame coming out of your butthole and there'll be people walking around all over America with flames coming out of their butthole. And everyone who takes it up the rear, everyone who has a penis injected in his butthole. When that See? I hope them hoes got permanent hemorrhoids. Give a fuck about no goddamn ex, nigga. Call it an ex for a fucking reason, nigga. But see, you niggas still taking these bitches on dates and they still entertaining their ex. You would take a bitch on a, 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 a date who just got out of a relationship. Don't you know that them motherfuckers still communicating? 
Don't you know that these motherfuckers still are communicating? You know what I'm saying? And don't just stop thinking you the only nigga. You know? Some of you goofball ass niggas want the pussy so bad, she'll tell you what the last nigga did and you want to outdo the last nigga. Stop trying to compete for motherfucking pussy. Competing for the coochie. What are we doing, man? Tighten up. Why is this bitch in the goddamn driver's seat dictating and making demands? Who, the, who is this? Who is this? This ain't Kim Kardashian. Who the fuck is this? This is a bitch. And even a bitch, Kim Kardashian, she's still a bitch. Perfect example. You niggas that see a bitch like Kim Kardashian, right? Gorgeous bitch. Ass, long hair, gorgeous bitch, right? Do all this elaborate shit. And then when you get in the, in the bedroom, the sex is trash. We seen the Kim Kardashian sex tape. Kim Kardashian is trash in the bedroom. Let's not let's let's not act like that was that was exciting. That bitch is garbage. Fucking her is like when you was fucking in like eighth grade and freshman year in high school. Bitch look like she don't know what the hell she's doing. She's garbage. Pussy was dry as hell, born in the motherfucker. Just laying there, just fine. With some trash ass pussy. She was trash. Say, if Jesus can't save these hoes, you know what I'm saying? Why are you trying? Shout out to Brown Hornet with another dub, man. <laughs> Who gonna sponsor today's show, nigga? <laughs> Who gonna sponsor the show? Pervert. Let's turn this motherfucker up, man. Pervert. What's happening with you perverts, nigga? Pervert. Don't get moist on me today, nigga. We got the cook. We got the cook. Hit that Pervert. share button, nigga. We cooking hoes today. Hoes on the menu. Jesus can't save these hoes. Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? Why are you trying, nigga? If, if, if Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? What make you think you greater than Jesus? What what make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? What make you think you greater than Jesus? What make you think you greater than Jesus? Swing the wind makes God. Follow me on all social media platforms, then. Shout out to Kundrill. He say, uh, with the five dollar holly, say, what was the disgusting song I played by the girl with the chest tattoo? I don't know what song you're talking about. I don't know what song you're talking about, man. You know, I don't know. But yes, most of these hoes are broke, man. Shout out to EV coming through with another two piece. You know what I'm saying? Y'all hit that motherfucking like and y'all hit that share, man. You know? 
said she thought her motherfucking BBL was gonna explode. Man, listen, man. That just goes to show you, man. And then she left Kanye and got with a motherfucking junkie. Like this, oof. that's what I'm saying. Like all these hoes is hittable. What was the other dude name who uh was fucking after Kanye? That white guy. Man, some of y'all be doubting y'all. So y'all don't understand how easy these hoes are, man. Make them laugh. Have a good time with these hoes, man. But you don't have to be out here pulling out the trick bag, man. These hoes are fuck, man. Yeah, that I forgot his name. Uh, Pete Davidson? Come on, man. Come on, man. Look at this clown. Look at this clown, man. He fucked the baddest bitch in the game, nigga. Look at this clown. And you niggas out here doubting yourself. Come on, man. And she got more money than him, so it wasn't like he was tricking. Come on, man. Tell me the game ain't beautiful. She fucked a complete goofy. A complete goofy. Tell me this game ain't beautiful, nigga, when you know it. He saw the weakness in that bitch and got at him. Y'all motherfuckers got to see this shit, man. And you're not going to know that until you start talking to bitches. If you started talking to bitches, you'll realize, oh, she don't need, I'm not taking this bitch on no date. No, nah, but you dumbass niggas get on them fucking apps and say, okay, well, it's our first date, you let the bitch talk. Because it's not like you planned it. Okay, we, our first date, we can go to, we can go to uh, 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 Papa Do's. You be like, damn, this bitch bad. Okay. Then when you finally fuck the bitch's trash, you might as well have fucked Keisha. I seen hood rats ride dick better than motherfucking Kim Kardashian. Fucking garbage. That was garbage. You know what I'm saying? Pete Davis, a.k.a. Beetlejuice Jr. That bitch was trash. But that just goes to show you. You niggas could be putting in all this effort for a trash-ass bitch. Trash. She was certified trash. You know? You know? You better off getting that. You better off hitting a stripper than fucking Kim Kardashian. Her performance was garbage. She was fucking trash, my nigga. Trash. You know? But yeah, man, these bitches out here thinking they deserve dates. And they get all this advice from they, they, the, old, the old women with no men. Just leading them down the wrong path. You know? You meet these bitches, the, the first time you meet them, they want you to start helping them out. But the crazy part, the reason why they asking you to do it, because some niggas done it before. If you niggas stop this tricking shit, the game will come back and we will have our leverage. We lose our leverage. With every nigga who tricks, we lose our leverage. With every nigga who tricks, it fucks up real niggas' leverage. You know? Chairman Mo coming in with another five. Please say Pete uh, Davidson may have been the rebound guy, but there are a lot of rich suckers and who paid to fuck uh, a Kardashian, Pete at least did not pay. Yes! He didn't trick. He didn't trick. You ain't see him, him taking her on no elaborate shopping sprees. He was just a goofy that she liked. He made, he made the bitch feel free. Y'all don't know how to hang and entertain with hoes, man. Y'all steady running around here letting these hoes dictate. We need to go here. I, have we gone on a real date yet? Real date these nuts. Real date these nuts. But these bitches out here got this expectation that when you meet them, you need to show them that you're worthy. Show them I'm worthy. <laughs> worthy. Bitch, you're old. Yeah, you're holding it together. You're looking good and all that, but you're old. You gave all the best years of your life to another nigga. You ran through, really. 
You know what I'm saying? Probably got a fucking kid. Credit fucked up. All types of shit. You're all entitled and shit. We can't, you can't undo the damage of an old bitch. How you gonna teach your old bitch? Old bitch, how can you teach your old bitch? There is not one thing you can teach your old bitch. Because an old bitch don't want to be taught. You know? You know how you need to treat the date? Treat the date like you're the teacher and these are the good students and they've been good for months and now it's time they get a pizza party. Remember that? When we was in, in grammar school? When ain't nobody getting in trouble, we all, we all did all our work, we did all our shit. Wasn't no fights in the classroom, nobody was late. Everything was going on. They rewarded us with a pizza party. That's how you gotta treat these hoes. Earn your date, bitch. But you got to carry yourself. Fellas, carry yourself like you're worth a damn. So when you come in leading with what's in your pocket, telling them, telling them, letting them dictate what they want, you automatically show that what comes out of your mouth is not worth a damn. Cause you, cause you can't even motherfucking captivate the bitch's mind enough to respect you. You cannot pay for respect. If that's the case, if you could pay for respect, every last one of them hoes that Puffy is dealing with going to the feds, they would. First of all, they wouldn't be going to the fucking feds. Second of all, we wouldn't be hearing about none of this shit because he paid for the respect. I guarantee you Puffy has paid more than any of you niggas in this room ever paid for some pussy. And it's got him nothing but a nut. And your kids can't inherit your nut. You can't, you, you, you can't take that nut to the bank. That nut's not an investment. You got to let hoes entertain you, nigga. Not consume you, entertain you. That's the problem. And they listening to these old bitches, they grandmamas, they mamas, giving them this stupid ass advice. You 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 want to get up with a bitch and then she tell you, well, I got bills to pay and this this and this. With like you, we all got bills to pay. That's called being an adult. Half these hoes to be truthful, they are not prepared to date. Cause broke motherfuckers shouldn't be dating, and most of these bitches are broke. Most bitches are broke. Cut the shit. Any bitch that got their shit together, it was a nigga who put her together. Most of your boss bitches, you know what I'm saying, got their shit together on another nigga's watch. These bitches are broke and niggas fix them. That's how this shit works. Because if a bitch is in the driver's seat of her own life and left to her own vices, she'll be a failure. Thus, most black women of today. If they are truly in control of all decision making, they will fail every fucking time. And that's what they do. They fail every fucking time. You know, yeah, big field, and you can hit that super chat too, nigga. <laughs> Who's sponsoring this shit, man? All I got is Jeremy Moe in this bitch. 
Chairman Mo, he say these bitches' expectations are all out of whack. They got high expectations because niggas oblige the bullshit. What are your expectations? You got none. You have absolutely none. You just want fuck. And she knows that. You're showing your hand. She know every card you gonna play to try to get some pussy. And that shit crazy. These niggas out here paying bitches bills, helping them out, and you don't, you don't even know this bitch. Shout out to Montrez coming through with the $10 holler on the motherfucking cash app. Salute, man. Appreciate that support. <laughs> Shout out to Big Phil with that five dollar holler. I had to get on his ass. Pause. No rainbow. No ditty. <laughs> Start getting on y'all out fucking ass, man. You know. Shout out to Big Phil. But yeah, man, these bitches be broke as hell when you meet them. Acting like we doing something wrong by hollering at them. All right, nigga. And again, man, stop acting like y'all scared to holler at hoes, man. It's just a bitch getting that bitch face to say something. If not, you know what I'm saying? The next nigga will. That's the game, nigga. That's the game. These women are texting them, asking them what they doing. They doing rent, light bill, water. Yeah, see? This is this is this is the face of the struggle. This is who they get their advice from. So when you hit a bitch up, cause she's struggling. You know what I'm saying? You supposed this you supposed to feel less than and feel inferior and feel inclined to have to uh uh um so-called man up and fix that? No. These are these are this bitch's responsibility. You know why she has these responsibilities? Cuz she has no man. Stop calling these women or uh, texting them asking them what they doing. They doing rent, light bill, water bill, car insurance, life insurance, pampers and milk. Yeah. And she gonna keep doing that because she's a stupid motherfucker at best. Shout out to the prison with that ism, you dig? Coming through with the 10 piece, man. I see you, fam. Salute to you. Fuck we. I'm not, I'm not gonna feel guilty. There we go. We got our first sponsor. Coming through. You know what I'm saying? The beta male. Who we got? What's that? What did I say? The beta male. I can't see it. Let me blow the screen up. Let me see. The beta male police. Coming through with the $50 holler. We got our first sponsor of today's show. And let's get these numbers up and hit that like button. Say play that song again. What makes you think you're greater than Jesus, nigga? I got you. I got you. I got you. I make sure we're gonna do that before the end of the show. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Stop calling these women or uh, texting them, asking them what they doing. They doing rent, light bill, water bill, car insurance, life insurance, pampers, and milk. Fuck what I'm doing. Send me a cash app. And there's a dumb ass nigga that will do that. There's a dumb ass nigga that will do that. Cause this bitch struggling, you niggas helping the hoe. You want to help the hoe so you know what I'm saying? You can get the ass as if it's required. Most of these bitches don't even got gas money, my nigga. I told y'all about that. That is a pet peeve of mine. That is a pet peeve of mine. I remember dating a chick back in the day, and she used to always ask me for gas money. She didn't want to come see me unless I gave her gas money. And I had to look at myself and say, this is beyond P. 
pathetic. To ask for gas money as an adult is pathetic. It's pathetic, man. Say, uh, my man, beta male strategy say, dated a chick for a whole year, spent hella bread only to find out she was still hanging with her ex, but she claimed they were just friends. Ain't none of that, man. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. We got a bunch of mo some of the most disrespectful bitches in the world who don't deserve none of the shit that they ask for. These bitches can't even give you loyalty, and loyalty don't even cost a dollar, bro. Loyalty don't cost a dollar. But I'm going to be real with you, man. Most of these bitches, man, still, are, still stay in communication with their ex and still make themselves accessible for their exes to communicate with. But see, as brothers, we don't, we don't, the reason why we don't communicate with our exes because they got on bullshit and we put a lot into it. And we took, we, we the ones that actually took a loss. We took losses. Bitches still comp co co uh, communicate with these motherfucking exes because, you know what I'm saying? They didn't really take no losses. They still, they're still in the mindset of they can use this nigga the same way they're using the nigga that they are presently with. Because bitches are users. But don't let these niggas fool you online because they are cool with being used. As if that makes them alpha or that makes them red pill because they're cool with it. No, they are just they are just uh, 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 alpha fied fools. They got the shell of an alpha male, but the heart of a marshmallow. <laughs> Their insides, their insides are as sweet as a fucking Rice Krispie treat, my nigga. The beta male police hitting us again, heavy, heavy, heavy on the sponsorship with another hundred dollar holler, brother. We definitely appreciate you here. All a pervert. That nigga said he got plans. He's like, play my song now, nigga. I'm not playing. Pervert. I got you. Fuck it. Jesus you these can't save these hoes. Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? Why are you trying, nigga? If, if, if Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? What make you think you greater than Jesus? What what make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? What make you think you greater than Jesus? What make you think you greater than Jesus? Swing the wind makes God. Can't save these hoes. Can't save these hoes. Can't save these hoes, nigga. Can't save these hoes. 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 Can't save these Why are you trying? If, if, if Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? What make you think? We bike! You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. These niggas got the shell of an alpha, man. But they heart pumps motherfucking Kool-Aid, nigga. They ain't hardcore on these bitches, nigga. They are not hardcore on these bitches, man. Freezing up. Bitch be fine and the motherfucker saying some stupid shit. They let them say it. The fuck? You know what I'm saying? I've bagged plenty of bitches being argumentative. 
They can't believe, they can't believe a nigga that ain't gonna bow down to him. And they still bow down to these nuts. Shut the fuck up! Bow down to these nuts! But yes, I cannot stand a bitch that asks for gas money, my nigga. Hoes out here asking for gas money. I had to reevaluate myself. What am I fucking? What am I fucking? Not who I'm fucking. What am I fucking? If you ask the bitch for gas money, how, what do you think she's going to say? How do you think a motherfucking bitch is going to perceive you asking for gas money? That's some shit. We, I ain't done. I ain't asked for gas money for motherfuckers since I was 16 or some shit. A grown ass fucking woman asking for gas money. Don't ask for gas money when it comes to going to them clubs. Taking, taking selfies and ussies and shit with the homegirls. Don't ask for motherfucking gas money when it comes to going to the motherfucking clubs. If it's a party, she gonna get there. But when it come to you, she gonna ask for gas money. What are we fucking? That's tacky. That's a mindset. And some of you niggas will fuck a bitch that's bad as hell who asks for gas money. You had a baby by a bitch like that. And that's why your ass is going through the shit that you going through now. This bitch all glammed up and all this shit and don't got gas money. Shout out to my brother James, man. Brother James with the $25 holler on the cash app, man. <laughs> you fuck a bitch that asks for gas money? I don't give a fuck how good she look. That is, that is beyond petty, man. You know? You don't ever want to permanently attach yourself to a bitch that don't got gas money. She can't even get to you to give you the pussy. That's how fucked up her life is. Then another pet peeve of mine. Another pet peeve of mine. It's a bitch asking for money for lunch. <laughs> Here you are online. Taking all these pictures looking good and you still asking niggas for lunch money? You can't even feed yourself but you out here sucking dicks? lunch money and don't give it to them because they ain't gonna appreciate it you give them lunch money they act like oh that ain't enough you ain't even got lunch money bitch so he knows i'm going to lunch he knows you're he going knows to my vibe he knows how i like to move and he only sent thirty dollars thirty dollars for a lunch <laughs> Shit, I'll take that. I was just gonna ask y'all niggas for, uh, for some money for a motherfucking fish sandwich, nigga. Perfect. 
He's always got the nerve to talk about they got a vibe and you, he knows my vibe. It's, your vibe is broke. You can't even eat. He said, instead of lunch money, the money goes to weave and BBLs. No, that money go to a 3.5 allowed for that weed smoking bitch. And I told y'all stop fucking with them weed smoking hoes. They pussy stink. <laughs> Bitches smoke weed, pussy stank, and they don't even know it. They can't smell it. They sense the smell is off because they smoke too much goddamn weed. pH balance is way off. Bitch. Chap pussy ass, bitch. Put some chapstick on that pussy. <laughs> Put some chapstick on the lips of the pussy. Bitch is acting like motherfuckers supposed to give your ass a hundred dollars for lunch. For lunch. We talking about lunch. And these hoes don't appreciate shit. That's why you don't, nigga, these hoes don't deserve none of this shit. Is to, like, so he knows I'm going to lunch. He knows you're he going knows to lunch. He knows my vibe. He knows how I like to move. And he only sent $30. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to bend over backward for a man that is just sending what Listen to these bitches. In this chat, let's be real. $30 is enough for lunch. $30 is a... What kind of lunch you trying to have? That's a hell of a lunch. That's a hell of a lunch for $30. We're talking about lunch here. Unless you trying to get a crab boil for lunch, <laughs> fucking bitch, $30 is... Actually, it's, it's too motherfucking much. $15 is really all you need. $30 is generous. For lunch, it don't matter to these hoes because these hoes are entitled. What, what, do you think, what do you think lunch supposed to cost? Nigga, you can get an oxtail dinner for fucking less than $30. An oxtail dinner with two sides and a drink of a run you about. 15? Get that sandwich, Jeff. I appreciate the toxic mail, man. <laughs> With the 20 people. I'm gonna give me a sandwich on these. Give me a panini on these hoes. I'm gonna Panera bread on these bitches. I'm gonna Panera bread on you. Nigga, you can go crazy with, you can buy lunch for you and another motherfucker for $30. Listen, look at the mentality of these hoes. They don't deserve no goddamn dates, nigga. They don't appreciate none of this shit. Bitch, you don't even got lunch money. You're getting cash ass for lunch money. He say, that's the black woman uh, voting and sleazy and creepy. See now, Joe Biden. Lunch really does cost $30. <laughs> yeah, it probably do. Uh, Trump 2024, motherfuckers. Oh, fuck. Goddamn perverts, man. These hoes are crazy. Shout out to the condemned one, man, coming through, man. The condemned man. He say, $30 is breakfast, lunch, and dinner for me. Goddamn, fuck out of here. Get that, man. <laughs> Fam, even if you went to, like, Whole Foods or uh, Mariano's, any of them places, and went to the hot bar and bought, you know what I'm saying, all that organic shit and weighed it, you still wouldn't have a fucking $30 meal, nigga. You still wouldn't have a $30 meal, nigga. $30 is, is very generous for a lunch. You're just at work being a bitch. Is to, like, so he knows I'm going to lunch. He knows you're he going knows to lunch. He knows my vibe. He knows how I like to move. And he only sent $30. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to mm -hmm. bend over backward for a man that is just sending whatever he can. Or, you know, um, if... If he's not gonna be my boyfriend, number one, but if I'm talking <laughs> yeah. to him next time I'm out I'm, uh, and he says, Oh, you need something for lunch, I'm gonna tell him it's okay. Somebody already sent me a hundred dollars. So you see what I'm saying? This is why you don't get these bitches shit. And stop trying to compete with the next nigga. They're gonna juggle y'all niggas. They already got an order up who's gonna do the same thing. Bitches got niggas in their phone who they call to use them for what they use them for. But Again, these niggas are teaching you that it's cool to be used. As long as you're okay with it. 
You can attach the word alpha to it, and now you're now it's cool. No, nigga. We're not gonna be no fools for these fucking hoes. We know that you want to a hundred dollars for lunch. A hundred dollars for lunch. Are you serious? That's yeah, you got to because it's and all these bitches, I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying, how they look. They is not going to retain no man. They are side bitches at best. You see how your efforts go and how, how your efforts are never appreciated with these bitches, but yet and still you still try to do good by these bitches? You can't do that. Stop doing that. It's better like you said. Okay. <laughs> if we're being completely honest, right here, right now, we've all eaten lunch for $30. Yes. Let's start 100%. There. Yes. So what is the problem? It's only a problem when, when you do it. It's cool when you do it. It's a problem when we do it. Fuck you. Wait, you know, cafe spot, baby. I'm going to snap us and get something thing. popping, but oh, we're not saying that we're ungrateful. Right. Yes, you are. With your AKA outfit. See, this is what I'm talking about. And again, even if you don't get these bitches no motherfucking money, they still going to fuck because all they pussy still activated. They still whores is food on the table however you know what the correct. standard is correct me in that situation handling it with grace thank you so much baby i'm yes. so appreciative i'm gonna still take a picture of that bill and i'm gonna send it to him <laughs> thank you for the 30 that was the tip Here's yeah the bill. that was the tip what kind what where are you going for lunch without me that's the crazy thing they going they going on dates without you Without you. All that because she got a pussy. Say, look at all these bitches. They will be the future replacements of Vivica Fox and the old hoes on Fox Soul. Yeah, nigga. Shout out to Chairman Mo, man. What's up? Awesome. So, if $100 is the standard, this bitch spending a $700 or $500 a week on lunch two thousand dollars a month on lunch that bitch if you don't start making sandwiches these hoes just lost their mind somebody somebody has inflated their ego man somebody has inflated their ego nigga shout out charisma he say wigs weaves and kids so, men, if you know that you cannot give $30 or if it's hard for you to give, then you need to date within Don't your... Don't date. Do you not can date. date. No, you can. Do not date. But date with the woman that, number Do one, does not... See, you would find out that this bitch don't deserve no date if you just met up with her and kicked it with her and seen how she act. Seeing if she, how, how unappreciative she is, you buy a drink or something, oh, hell no, it's over with. Yeah, you ain't getting no... We're we, we going to stop this right here, right now. Let me know when you're ready, to come, uh, ready for me to come over by the house. I'll be damned if I spend another goddamn dollar pl playing with your ass. Unappreciative bitch. I have that expectation. Mm -hmm. Or number two, it's in that, that range that will love and adore that $30, will save that $30, will frame that $30, will bathe with that $30, will masturbate with that $30. Like See what I'm saying? Look how they diminish that $30. But they still, they, but when it comes to them having to spend their own money, they eat a thirty dollar uh, meal all day. They gonna eat a thirty dollar meal all day on their own. Be with that woman because it is a woman out there that will appreciate it and that will Absolutely. love it. But do not try. To yeah, see, this is what we talking about. This is what we talking about. Bitches don't deserve no dates. We ain't even got to the dates yet. This is just the bitch in the beginning. How she moving? You get the number, you know what I'm saying? You call yourself trying to do some nice gesture, which you shouldn't, but your dumb ass did. And the bitch didn't even appreciate it. That's why I tell you niggas, stop doing shit for bitches. They don't deserve it. She didn't She didn't even deserve the 30 damn dollars. You know what I'm saying? I can't even blame these bras. They just do what you allow. Yep. What the hell is wrong with you brothers? Shout out to prison, man. I tell these niggas, Rich Turner coming in the building, man. We got a wrench coming in the building. He said, sent my girl $50 for breakfast a few weeks later. Uh, she sent me two bands for my birthday. 
uh, it hit different. Salute, that's what I'm talking about, nigga. <laughs> But see, that's your girl. You know what I'm saying? And it came back, and that's how you know you got one. That Two bands is a significant amount of money. She's not doing that with a bunch of niggas. She not, she not doing that with three, four niggas a week in her phone and shit like that. She's invested. Because one thing we know about these bitches, they're cheap, and they do not want to spend any of their damn money. She gave you two bands, you got you one player. We got you one. We got you one. You know what I'm saying? Two bands? Yeah, you got you one, nigga. Because these bitches do not spend money, nigga. I've been trying to tell niggas this shit for a long time. That is the that is the Lippman's test. Her purse. The opening of her purse is the Lippman's test for love. All that other shit, this bitch just talking and she just gonna pay you with pussy. Mediocre pussy, if that. Shut the fuck up! You know, you know like, again, one thing you have to admire about these bitches, you know what I'm saying? Unlike these so-called alpha niggas, they, these alpha niggas have not put value on their dick. They just do whatever is required so they can, they can, uh, they can use their dick. But they don't put no value on their dick. These bitches got, these bitches put value on their pussy and they tell you that they are the gatekeepers. They put they they put a price, they put tasks, they put what is required. You don't have no requirements on yourself, huh? But you alpha. But you alpha though. These bitches out here telling you, you know what I'm saying? If you broke, you don't deserve no motherfucking pussy. I tell you niggas all the time, if you broke, you don't even need to be thinking about pussy. Cause, cause once you, once you, once you get in a rhythm, pussy is gonna be so easy. Having your shit together makes pussy easier to get. You know what I'm saying? Play that sporty thieves song. I can't play that shit cause it's copyrighted though, bro. But I appreciate you, uh, 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 son, soul, soul, son. Yeah, that uh, no pigeon song, man. That shit is copyrighted, bro. We gonna get the stream taken down. You know what I'm saying? But I know what you're talking about, man. I'll I put it on my motherfucking Instagram for you. Put it on Instagram. You know? But yeah, man. They tell you what, what, you know, who deserves a pussy and shit like that. But you niggas don't ever say to yourself, man, who deserves this dick? Because you don't value yourself. You talk that shit. You don't value yourself. Whenever you see niggas going see the shine and see, trying to get some try, for for a pussy, as if it's worth all that, spending money for a pussy, like it's worth all that. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. These niggas act like they ain't never hooked up with a bitch before. You niggas, ain't, what happened to what happened to chemistry? Anytime if a bitch told me that broke nigga don't deserve no pussy and all this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just talking. Cause she didn't fuck, she will fuck a broke nigga. She chances are she didn't have a baby by a broke nigga. She ain't, she wasn't artificially inseminated, I'll tell you that, nigga. She fuck broke niggas all the time, nigga. And it's not that, and don't let these bitches um shame you like you are broke. You ain't broke. You just not giving her shit. And that's a good thing. Let them call you broke. Let them. Let them. That's they go to you. Broke, you gay, you got a little dick. whoop de doo You know none of this shit is true. She don't deserve none of that shit. Any bitch that tells you some shit like that don't deserve none of that shit. 
take this bitch on no goddamn date. Let this bitch get in your head. Now you think you got to show her. I got paper. <laughs> it ain't nothing. I, I'm getting paper. She fooling you, nigga. It's the trick bag. And then you're not even thinking like I've been telling you. What happens when you do get the pussy and it's whack? It stank. High possibility dealing with the black woman. You are a pervert. Broke men don't deserve pussy, okay? Yes, you heard what I said. Look at this bitch. Tricks created this. You know how they say uh, we got to protect the environment. We got to recycle. You know what I'm saying? Secondhand smoke affects everybody and shit like that. Well, you tricks are ruining the game for the real players. Because we have to hear the mouth of these bitches because of your thirsty doings. <laughs> Tricks have fucked up the environment of the game. We'll be like, damn, Jeff, you go hard on the tricks. Yes. Because those are the motherfuckers who have fucked this shit up. When you got a plain ass potato head ass bitch like this talking like she is a bad bitch naturally. This is this confidence was created by the thirst of an idiot. We don't teach you that here. You are students of mine. We are going to go hard on hoes. We stomping hard in the mud on a bitch. In today's topic, broke men don't deserve pussy, okay? Yes, you heard what I said. If you're broke and you're a man, you shouldn't even be thinking about pussy. pussy I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I've, I've always said that. Last thing, I, when, I'm, when I'm going through something, last thing I'm thinking about is fucking. Don't let ejaculation be your motivation and stop you from your accumulation. You should be the last thing on your mind, okay? The only thing that you should be thinking about pussy is how you're going to get money in order to get pussy, all right? You, now, you don't get money to get pussy, you know what I'm saying? But you get money for your, for, for your fucking livelihood and shit, you know what I'm saying? Your, to live. But pussy is there, man. Y'all hoes ain't shit. You men think that women are supposed to be down for you and hold you down while you're in your toughest and roughest times and struggle with you? Absolutely not. When bitches, uh, uh, look, listen, this is the natural mentality of bitches. That's what I'm trying to tell you. When the conditions change, this bitch will change with the conditions. She is not down. These bitches are not loyal. I think some of you niggas be in this romantic euphoric state with these bitches and thinking that this love is real. It's a fucking feeling for now. These bitches ain't these bitches ain't down for the long haul like that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? All them hoes jump ship on P. Diddy, nigga. The heat is on. They ain't, they ain't sitting there. We gonna hold this down, baby. No. Bitches is gone. Every drug dealer who went to jail, they'll tell you. Moses out of there fucking their friends. You know? Big Meach, Big Meach bitch still ain't around. Southwest T ain't come back to a bitch. Crazy.
Women were not put here on the earth to struggle. We are here to be catered to. We're here to be courted. Okay? So the Courting this fucking potato head. This is, this is just insane. Since the beginning of time, women have always been here not to work. That is you guys' job. And if you don't get off your ass, if you're broke, you're lazy, okay? If you're a broke man, you are absolutely lazy. You need to get off your lazy ass and go get some money so you can get you a nice, beautiful woman. And today's topic... You see? This is what their expectations are. And you gotta ask yourself, what do you get? Do you get a cooperative bitch? Do you get a feminine bitch? Do you get a loyal bitch? You get all, you do all this shit and don't even get a loyal bitch. Ain't that crazy? Your bitch still talking to her ex, giving you hell, but still talk to ex niggas. You know. This shit crazy. This shit crazy, man. These bitches don't do a goddamn thing. And won't do a goddamn thing. And they're being they're, they got bitches online teaching them not to big followings. That's why you gotta watch these hoes and look at them comments and shit like that, seeing like, okay, this is how hoes think. So you can adjust your mindset and so you don't get used. And you're not working for pre-penetrated pussy. Because that's all it is. It's another man's scraps. So she need to be working for you because you are the fucking prize. Not this bitch. This bitch don't do shit. They don't believe in cooking and cleaning or none of that shit, but they sucking dicks and eating ass and taking niggas money. Part of being a girlfriend either. It's not even really part. Of See, this is an interesting bitch to, to watch online because she believes this shit. You know what I'm saying? And she's got a, a simp as example of a man that's worse than goddamn Boyce Watkins. That we need to, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, um, evaluate as an example of what not to be. Because, again, no tricks are respected. This is how they talk behind a trick's back. Cooking and is not a part of being a girlfriend either. She don't even believe girlfriends need to cook. And I'm telling you, I... I it's most of these girlfriends do not fucking cook. You know what I'm saying? I told you, a woman told me one time, you know, I asked her to cook for me. She was like, nah, you ain't my boyfriend. I'm like, damn, you sucking dick and doing all this shit, though. That's how the priorities of today's woman is. She will fucking suck all types of niggas, won't even cook. They don't even, they don't act like ladies to be treated like ladies. Cooking and it's not a part of being a girlfriend either. It's not even really part of being a wife. I mean, think about that. They don't even think wives should cook. These bitches are just supposed to be look just it's, they just supposed to be there, look good, and spend your fucking money. That's what these bitches think. Think about it. Why? I mean, just honestly. Why is cooking being part of being a wife? Did he meet you cooking? Did he meet you at the restaurant that you was cooking at or something? Is that why he fell in love with you? Because he saw that you were a cook? So it really doesn't have anything to do with. See, this is when everything is transactional. She's not even, she's not into her husband. Her husband is into her. And this is the leverage that the tricking has put the game in to where you are more interested in the bitch than she is into you. And it shows. It even shows in the fucking bedroom because half these hoes are looking to the side thinking about another motherfucker while you over here humping your fucking brains out. Marriage or a relationship. Cooking is for when you can't or don't want to go out to eat or if you are hungry and you want to cook something. 
it doesn't have anything. It's not even in the marriage vows. It ain't even in the marriage vows. But these bitches are terrible. So for you all, you over here whining and dining these bitches, trying to sweep them off their feet. This is how they are when you get them. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real. You ever did You ever did all this type of bullshit to get a bitch and then when you finally got her, you didn't want her no more? How many of you guys have been there? How many of you guys have been in that predicament? You went through all this shit, finally got the pussy, finally got the bitch, and you were like, this is terrible. This ain't what I signed up for. I can't believe I did all this for this. This annoying ass bitch. She's a fucking headache at best. I did all of this effort to finally get this bitch. I got the bitch. You know what I'm saying? Look at all this shit I got to go through to keep her. Because you didn't have no leverage. You were more into her than she was into you. You grew on her. Come on now. Let's talk heavy. See, we talk wins and we talk losses here at this show. Rest in peace, simple to pee, my nigga. That's, that's because you was thirsty. She was everything visually you wanted. But who the bitch really is, is a terrible bitch. Come on now. We've been there. You putting in all this effort and the bitch ain't worth a damn. Is that why he fell in love with you? Because he saw that you were a cook? So it really doesn't have anything to do with marriage or a relationship. Cooking is for when you can't or don't want to go out to eat or if you are hungry. Doing all this shit, you can't even get a meal from a bitch. That's crazy. Hungry and you want to cook something. It doesn't have anything. It's not even in the marriage vows. It ain't even in the marriage vows. But to provide and protect you is maybe how you do it. Crazy. So you don't even get shit. And then when you start complaining, she might pay you in pussy. She might pay you in pussy, nigga. Shit. Some of these unappreciative wives don't deserve no dates either. Shit, goddammit. He said, you telling our story, Jeff? Listen, bro, I'm, I'm here to keep it real. This is y'all show. This is a show for the brothers. And we got women as students in this bitch too. Salute to them. But you know I'm gonna keep it real on both sides. We took losses. Every one of these bitches, we did all this shit to finally get the pussy, finally get with this bitch, finally get with her. We regretted it. We regretted it. Because we didn't vet that bitch right. There's no real chemistry there. Everything is transactional. Everything is fake. Everything is for the ground. There's no substance. There's no real substance in them relationships. He said, you telling our story, Jeff. I finally got this one broad and she was annoying as hell. Yes. Materialistic. Annoying, unappreciative, entitled, and unagreeable. You know? And even when it came to the pussy, it was a, it was negotiations. You had to negotiate the pussy. Ain't that a bitch? You had to negotiate the pussy. She only wanted to fuck on her terms. And your thirsty ass was so appreciative. Man, finally got the pussy. 
Because the bitch is bad. So what? Every bitch bad now. We got the internet. We can sift through and find a bad bitch. That's the prerequisite. I don't believe any of you niggas should even be fucking with no ugly bitch. That's a given. You know? I would never fuck with no ugly woman. So really, at that point, once we get past that, I know I don't really care about her looks like that no more because that's 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 a given. I know I'm if I'm with any woman, she's gonna be gorgeous. So I'm not gonna I'm not a, I'm not impressed by her looks anymore. We're past that. We're past that. How do you act? Are you appreciative? The substance, the chemistry, that shit is what, what matters at that point. It's a bunch of beautiful airheads out here. That's going to be a given. I'm not even going to entertain an ugly bitch. Cause I'm such a I'm such a critic on natural beauty, so it's not nah, nah, nah. It's not even gonna be, you know what I'm saying? That's not even that's not even gonna be the deal breaker. Shit, I've dealt with a bunch of bad bitches I hate to this day. Can't stand they fucking ass. I pray for the niggas that fucking with them. I would never fuck with him. But the ones from, 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 from my past that I've made the mistake of overly investing in them early before they even earned it, those were the mistakes. That makes, it, that makes you even more furious. Because you wasted on this goddamn bitch. Finally get finally get with this bitch and it ain't it ain't all that was cracked up to be. Cause you got this vision in your head of what you want this bitch to be instead of what this bitch is. You gotta understand what a bitch actually is, not what you want her to be, not what you hope she could be. What is this bitch? And you don't need to be investing to find out what this bitch is. And most of these bitches are selfish. They always expect you to pay. I say when when you got a bitch that's willing to motherfucking uh you know what I'm saying pay for you you got one some of you niggas in these marriages right now with old entitled bitch that don't want a motherfucking put no bills and pay you in mediocre pussy and still got a work bay still got a work bay and some niggas in her inbox ain't that a bitch me this for? Your turn to pay for the food. What you handing me this for? Your turn to pay for the food. It's who turn to pay for the food? Your turn. Why would it be my turn to pay for the food when I'm here with my man? Because I always pay for the food. I can't hear you what? I always pay for the food. You always pay for the food. See, this is a test, really. This is a test. Sometimes you can put a woman to a test like this and see if she, if you fellas, if you want to see if a woman is a selfish bitch or not, put her to the test like this. You know you're going you know to pay for it, right? See if she would. See if she would. But the fact that she wouldn't just shows you you're dealing with an entitled bitch.
And you could already imagine what his household is like. Who's trying to pay for the food? Why would it be my turn to pay for the food when I'm here with my man? Because I always pay for the food. I can't hear you what? I always pay for the food. You always pay I didn't like that. I can't hear you what? See, this is a situation where he came in this relationship as a simp with his head down. Now he's trying to alpha up. He might have watched some of you niggas' videos. You can't change now, nigga. You can't change now, nigga. You are the simp that she expected to be, nigga. Don't go red pill rage and put on your red pill motherfucking uniform now. You didn't come in the game with dominance. You, right now, you're asking her to pay instead of instructing her to pay. Pay for the food. Yeah. I always pay for the food. I ain't paying for it. Bitch. You're not paying for it? It's only $50. Well, pay for it. Well, pay for it. Why would I have to pay for anything if I'm here with my man? You are my man. You're supposed to pay for everything. I'm going to pay for everything else so you can pay for the food. You what? I'm going to pay for everything else. So I got to pay you. I got to go in my pocketbook and get out $50. You can't pay $50? Nope. Okay, well, I'm leaving then. What? Oh, but you might as well go ahead and call the server and see who going to wash dishes because it ain't going to be me. I'm not paying. You see what I'm saying? This is when you're dealing with the black bitch. This is why... It doesn't work. The nigga marriages don't work because the bitches say they want to go 50-50. They want equality. You give it to them. They don't want it. They only want equal rewards, if not more rewards for less work, no effort, no sacrifice. This is what I told you. The ultimate sacrifice of women is not their pussy. It's their paycheck. That is the ultimate sacrifice. This woman probably suck and fuck and do all types of crazy shit to this nigga. But when it comes to spending 50 fucking dollars, she'll lose her mind, nigga. Now he's making attempts to be alpha. But he got but but his voice is so low. He sound like when you niggas call my show laying on your stomach. He sound like you tender ass niggas who call my show laying on your stomach. Talk like a fucking man. Talk like a man, nigga. Fifty dollars for this. What? I ain't even. You ain't even. I can't for this. It's too late to try to be an alpha now. And both of them are having lunch for $50. So come on now. This motherfucker is $30 for a lunch for one motherfucker. And that bitch is tripping. <laughs> this bitch crazy. He said he's not paying for it. So, so what he needed? What, he said that I'm the woman. And he's been paying for everything all weekend. And now he want me to pay for it. Now your bitch is out of pocket because now she's telling your business to another motherfucker. See, this is the position that weak men are in. And when you niggas finally get fed up, it's still not respected because you can't change it up now. You came in a weak nigga, you're going to leave a weak nigga. Your first impression, you know what I'm saying, sets the tone for the relationship. It's only $50. Sit back some so he can. It's only $50. So what you think? What you, what you want me to pay for it? Nah, he need to go wash dishes or something, right? Oh, okay. Got plenty of dishes, <laughs> uh, <damn. laughs> nah, because I'm not paying for this. It's only $50. Right. Huh? See what I'm saying? How these bitches embarrass you. You know what I'm saying? They run their mouth in the streets, talk and all this old fuck ass shit. He tried to be alpha, but this bitch, again, bitches do not show any appreciation. They fucking don't. You know? They fucking don't. And they won't. You know? But again, man, salute to the brothers who not paying. Because you don't have to. 
You don't have to. These bitches don't deserve no dates. Especially a bitch like that. That was a test. That bitch don't deserve no dates. She don't deserve to go out. When you involve in the waiter in our discussion, our personal business, you don't deserve anything that you're asking for. Niggas need to start leaving these hoes hanging. Stop paying for that shit. These bitches want to act funny. Either uh, pay for your meal and bounce. Real talk. Go on, nigga. Where you going? Pay for the goddamn food. Pay for the damn food. This nigga left this motherfucking loudmouth hole hanging. That's what you're supposed to do. Date gone wrong. See what I'm saying? See, you shouldn't even be on a date. You should have known that this was a ratchet bitch before you went out with her. You, you, but you led with this date. Now the bitch is in the restaurant acting a fool. Where you going? Where you going, nigga? Where you going? Pay for the goddamn food. Pay for the damn food. Pay for the fuck damn food. What would y'all do if a nigga invited you out and they couldn't pay for the food? Give me one second. And you not gonna pay. What you mean? See, these bitches don't deserve dates. Shout out to this brother for leaving her hanging. I like to see shit like this. Like the uh, the, the, the the chick with the oysters who ate all them damn oysters and dude just left her. I like that. We need more of you brothers standing firm like that. <laughs> Need more of you brothers to stand firm on this game. What is going on? He invited me out. You invited me out and you can't pay? What you mean? Crazy, y'all. That's crazy. Call your ass because you broke. And you ain't got no money. Nope. We don't want to spend it on your ass. You know what I'm saying? He was acting up. He was talking shit on the date. Date went horrible. I've had horrible dates before. You know what I'm saying? But that was a mistake of me in the game early, and that was me not betting the bitch, just saying that I should never have went on a fucking dinner date with this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Dates from hell, man. She's crazy. She's crazy. He invited me out and he can't fucking pay. She's crazy. She's crazy. What the fuck do you mean? She's crazy, man. She's what do you mean? I'm going to put the robe on tonight for y'all, man. I got y'all, man. I got y'all, man. I'm going to wear the robe, wear the robe at the beginning of the show. You know what I'm saying? I like this blue right now. I'm feeling this blue right now. I got y'all tonight, man. Much love. He invited me Crazy, y'all. Crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna leave, man. Cause she's talking crazy. Yeah. Where you going, nigga? Where you going, nigga? Yeah, see, they mad when you don't pay for that shit. And that just goes to show you going out with a bum bitch and a bum bitch don't even got money for the date. Look at how, look at all the, how they, how all the expectations they got on you niggas. You see? You know? These bitches don't deserve no dates. Because these dates, these, they, most of you niggas go on these dates, I'm going to be honest with you. You don't even enjoy yourself. Dates are, the traditional date is dead, man. The traditional date is dead, man. Stop spending money on these hoes. Stop it. Because even when you do, take them on somewhere, the restaurant is never good enough. These hoes think, these hoes don't, first of all, bitch, you're not Benny Hanna's ready. Okay? 
You're not Papa Do's ready. You're not State 48 ready. You're not RPM ready. Okay? You're not Maestro's ready. You're not Del Frisco's ready. Okay? You're not Shaw's Crab House ready. You're not ready. You're not Roof Chris ready. You're not ready, bitch. You're Olive Garden ready. Stay in your lane. Back from top five worst dates of my life. And yeah, I should have seen it coming. Five worst dates of your life. Look how you look on a date. The fuck is wrong with these hoes? You bitches are Hooters ready, motherfucking Buffalo Wild Wings ready, Chili's ready. First red flag, he asked me if I wanted to go to Olive Garden. I'm going to be real. You're not Olive Garden ready. You come to me with your hair not done and a wife beater talking about anything other than then chilies, you're nuts. Your Applebee's ready. Your chilies ready. Okay. And not even, not even at a booth. You're at, we're at the bar. You get the bar seat ready. It was like, you guys want to be seated? No, we're gonna chill at the bar. Ready. Look at this bitch. She's old country buffet ready. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Um, yeah, I quickly curved that and suggested a place that wasn't Olive Garden. Yes, we go to a food hall that I suggest. Fuck these hoes. I'm saying this. I, I want this to be known. Olive Garden is the shit. I love Olive Garden. Fuck these hoes. Don't let these hoes tell you. Oh, that Olive Garden. Fuck them. Because right now, there is a spicy Latino or a white woman that could love some motherfucking Olive Garden right now. <laughs> Smack this hoe with a breadstick. And... Yeah, this bitch is Cracker Barrel ready, nigga. IHOP ready, nigga. I pick a different food stall than he picks, and he walks away when I stop to order my food, so basically I have to pay for my own food. What are we, 12? <laughs> yep. Yep. Your idea, you pay. You basically shit it on the man's idea. You know? Because at the end of the day, shit is about conversation. You already showed your hand. You are an entitled piece of shit and you look horrible. You look horrible. You don't even look like you can make these demands. I mean, I didn't ask myself on this date, right? You asked me out. At this point, I'm like, there's no salvaging this at all. Like, See, and that's the thing. You niggas asked... To Ask to ask to go out with these hoes. That's where you go wrong. You ask the bitch to meet up with you at your local little spot. Bar grill lounge at best. Openers. Openers. You do not take this bitch to no restaurant because her expectation is, oh, I'm going on a dinner date. Don't give her the expectation that she's going on a date. You niggas are doing this all wrong. That's why you're out here talking about this trick shit. Well, you're going to pay you the way you take her on today. Who the fuck's taking bitches on dates? Uh, sir, what year are you in? Are you actually in the game? Because if, if you're trying to get pussy, dates are not required. Game is. It's really that simple. Talking to this bitch and getting to know this bitch and vibing with this bitch is way better. You go to a hookah spot. You can go to a hookah spot and have better success than this fucking dinner date that you say you're going to have to go on. 
But you would know that if you actually left the goddamn house and got off the keyboard. You got these niggas with all this keyboard wisdom trying to teach y'all. Stop listening to this dumb shit and get in the field where it's real. You're not serious. You're not my type. We're probably talking for an hour and a half, almost two hours. I'm like feeling bad about it. I'm like, okay, maybe give them a second chance. Again, it's slim pickings. Again, it's slim pickings out here. Like reconsidering going on a second date with him at the end of, at the end of this. Until, until he gets on the subject of like dating apps and um, he opens up his Hinge app and I'm like, yeah, I, I, there's a lot of great options on top picks. So I'm like, see, she's cute. I think you know, it's like the end of the story. He's like, oh yeah, she is. Look, pick. This is what, this is what the game is now, man. With these damn dating apps, man. You niggas don't know how to chop it, man. But she's a... See, that's why you don't go on no dinner date with no bitch like that. Because you tell she's socially awkward. But you're a dating app ass nigga, so you're socially awkward as well. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. You know? You know, you're letting this bitch dictate the terms of the date. And look how she looks. Look how she looks. You know? And some of you niggas be taking these bitches. You take a bitch on a date, she want to bring up friends, and y'all want and they expect you to pay for everybody. You know that, right? Asshole. Yeah. So when you ask for separate checks, they act like you're fucking nuts. Cause you niggas wanna be you niggas wanna do anything to embrace this bitch. Here to go. Yeah. Why does it have my name? <laughs> Shout out to bro, we gonna start bailing on you bitches. Leaving, we gonna leave hoes with the check. 2024, man, we leaving hoes. Here to go. Yeah. Yeah. Why does it have my name? <laughs> Here to go. Shout out to bro, man. We gonna start bailing on bitches, man. Lead their ass with they check, man. Lead their ass with the check. You know what I'm saying? Cause like again, these dates don't even be fun. These hoes be acting all uninterested. You know what I'm saying? All these hoes want is the bag, and you dumbass niggas give it to them. I am not I am not interested in a woman that's not interested in me. But for some reason, niggas think that that's the move. Stop disappointing yourself. And just move the fuck on. Take the L. Take the goddamn L. It's okay. Because the way that these hoes talk about y'all ass, these trick ass niggas, and they know you still going to go because of how a bitch look. You're setting yourself up for failure. You're setting yourself up for embarrassment. Why pay for embarrassment? With these niggas on the internet about this, oh, what do you bring to the table? The conversation that everybody having now. Sir, nothing. I'm not bringing anything. And you're 100% correct. I agree. <laughs> you been say, she said, these hoes are telling you, they act, they're bringing absolutely nothing to the table. So let's, let, let's, let's make that clear now. The answer is answered. What do you bring to the table should not even be discussed when talking to these bitches. They bring nothing. The question is answered. You heard it here first. We don't need to keep asking women this shit. Well, what do you bring to the table? They don't bring shit. You know it, I know it, she knows it. Stop expecting shit. Expect the worst. Because these bitches are the worst. These bitches are the worst. Expect it.
Who stop arguing with these niggas on the internet about this? Oh, what do you bring to the table? Conversation that everybody having now, sir. Nothing. I'm not bringing anything, and you're 100 percent correct. I agree with. Them. Used up pussy is what they bring. That's it. Some niggas. Yes. Oh, you just looking for a nigga with a check? Yes. Exactly. And you be the dumbass nigga to give it to her. Come on, we let bitches lose over here. Cause we know their strategy. This is their playbook. Let's get it. Cause who the fuck said that? You guys are special. Like guys in every class. Listen to how these bitches talk. This is how they really feel. Let's go back. I need this shit to seep into your soul, nigga. You're hundred percent correct. I agree with them niggas. Yes. Oh, you just looking for a nigga with a check. Yes. Cause who the fuck said that? You guys are special. Like guys in every class of society whether it be the billionaires and the millionaires to the niggas that's fresh out of jail bro past your bread who are you most of y'all have no fucking substance most of y'all can't sit at a dinner table and eat properly a lot of you that's these bitches you know what i'm saying y'all are the embarrassment but at the end of the day this is how highly they think of you trick <laughs> No, no, no. Y'all saying all this shit. The bronze lazy. This bitch ain't this. Nigga, niggas are still going to pay. No matter how much I preach to you niggas, maybe this shit will resonate with maybe about 20% of you niggas. The rest of you niggas going to pay for it. You're going to see that ass and lose your mind. All the game, all your logic, all your dick discipline is going to go out the window if that bitch pull out her motherfucking pussy. Now you're going to do anything for it and anything to keep it, but there's nothing you can do to keep a bitch. There's nothing you can do to keep a bitch. No one excluded. If a bitch is with you, it's her choice. There is nothing you can do to satisfy and keep a bitch. These bitches are unsatisfiable. They go to the highest bidder. There's always going to be a nigga with more money, a better looking nigga, a taller nigga, a nigga with a bigger dick, a nigga with, with a better car. This is what bitches are and this is what bitches do. Expect it, accept it, respect it. This is the game. It's not your pussy, it's your turn. <laughs> Say, this is why I don't deal with black women. Uh, they bring nothing but stank pussy, attitude, stress, and STIs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could you could have fun with them recreationally. Don't expect nothing real to come out of fucking with a black woman. No. It's nothing real gonna come out of it. A real fucking headache. Niggas ain't got no home training shit stains in your drawers boring as hell no type of personality nothing and then you over here talking about what do you bring to the table no she's talking she's really talking about a lot of you niggas that be on them eight hour panels with these motherfucking hoes you know what i'm saying ain't never left the crib ain't never gotten a bitch's face and never chopped it with a bitch on real weight in real life a lot of you niggas on the motherfucking all up in a bitch's inboxes all up in a chat room with a bitch nigga get out here getting a bitch's face she's talking about you motherfucking niggas walking around here with them holes in your socks playing xbox all that bullshit nigga she's talking about that bullshit nigga like you the gameless nigga the lamest and the gameless nigga yeah she's talking about you nigga you know what i'm saying but the only way she'll entertain you nigga if you pay so I don't encourage niggas to be sitting over here inboxing hoes. I encourage you to get out and get in the bitch face. I've always said that. Get up and get in the bitch face. She already said, you niggas act like y'all can't talk. What's going on? See, the hoes is talking. Nothing, dude. I look good. I got a fat ass. You like that. I'm going to take your money. I'm still going to be beautiful and I'm going to go do it to somebody else until I find my Prince Charming. Somebody I actually care about. Because I Thank you. Thank you. They fuck with who they actually like. They use who pays. But you niggas feel like you will be used and you're cool with it. It's okay to be used as long as you're cool with it. 
He's telling you niggas the truth and you niggas ain't listening. Think I know home training shit stains in your drawers, boring as hell, no type of personality, nothing. And then you over here talking about what do you bring to the table? Nothing, dude. I look good. I got a fat ass. You like that. I'm going to take your money. I'm still going to be beautiful and I'm going to go do it to somebody else until I find my prince charming somebody i actually care about because a lot of you niggas after the bread that's it you're a check so if you guys are seeing us as pieces of meat and all oh, they just look good i'll be that talk to these trick ass niggas that's what i'm talking about i told y'all these niggas y'all niggas, niggas don't understand nigga. this shit is about respect no bitch will respect the check you're just a check and a trick. Never get respect. We demand our respect over here at the church. You know? And y'all taking these hoes out to these motherfucking dates. You know what I'm saying? As if they are, uh, uh, they ready for a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Some of these bitches are just sabotage shit. These hoes are still out here hoeing and you out here trying to make a wife out of her. They ain't ready to motherfucking settle down. These hoes in heat. Real talk. I don't trust myself as much as I don't trust men. Another Ooh. guy... Look at this. Look at this. This motherfucking... Motherfucking German Shepherd Potamus, man. German Shepherd Potamus, man. With the titties flapping over the belly button, man. <laughs> Y'all niggas going crazy over this motherfucking German Shepherd Potamus, man. <laughs> Leaving that relationship, I don't trust myself as much as I don't trust men. Another Ooh. guy recently, there was another guy recently talking to me and he was so nice and so kind. I feel like I'm being love bombed. Like, and so it kind of even is keeping me from allowing maybe someone who's just- Can't be nice to these bitches. Oh, I'm being love bombed. I feel like I'm being love bombed. Fam, knock it off. These hoes want bad treatment. Trust me. It's very, it's, it's, it's actually, it's actually uh, enjoyable to treat these hoes like shit and they love it. Treat them like shit. That's what they want. Genuinely nice to even show up in that way. Yes. Felt the same way. I was conditioned to be loved by narcissists for a very long time. What, so what my All these bitches say narcissist. A narcissist. I hate that goddamn word. I really hate. I hate the fact that women have found that word. They have overdid it with the word narcissist. What does that mean? The most important people that were in my life for a really long time were narcissists. That felt like home to me. That's what I was used to. Silencing yourself. Yes. To sitting here and accepting lies, knowing they lying. When I knew there was no way he was at another fucking funeral, because you've been to about three in the last motherfucking three months. Oh Don't my nobody. God. Hey, I, this nigga was lying about going to funerals. Should have known, because he lied about going to Panama for suits. And he ain't even have a job. Signed out later, he was in Panama with a bitch. The next thing I date, he got three funerals caps. <laughs> this bitch is crazy. See, they come to you with all this drama, with all this trauma. They're not ready to be on no dates, nigga. This bitch is ready to go get drunk and fuck. You got to be a... Dog, you don't take no bitch like this on no date. She is still not over her ex. She been through all this bullshit. You let that bitch vent at the bar, the hoop spot, take her ass home. Bang her out. Otherwise, I'm going to feel like he's so <laughs> negative. Everyone around him is dying because oh something God. ain't right. You can't really be like, let me see the body. You can't do no shit like that. Mm. <laughs> see, that's another reason why these bitches don't deserve no dates because they not over the trauma of their last situation. You go on a date with this bitch, all she talking about is her ex. And it's all on your dime. This is the, that, that, the date sucks. A lot of these bitches don't understand that they suck at dating. They suck at being at a restaurant with a... They suck. How about that? You suck. You don't deserve a date because you suck. Because even if we go on a date, it's going to suck. 
I must rather be in a situation where you just met up with me and you got your car and you can leave and I can leave because you suck. Get over your last nigga because you suck. These, these hoes, I have a good nigga and will purposely sabotage it too because they're so used to toxic shit. So being a nice guy, you're going to get stepped over and left over and messed over. You have got to properly put yourself in a position to gauge the situation. You will not be able to gauge the situation by letting her dictate the date. Hello? The niggas, I drag their dog ass through the mud. So you trying to tell me a, a, a woman don't like a nigga, a simp? I don't want no nigga I can, I can manipulate. Why? They don't want good niggas, so don't be a good nigga to them. Black women don't want that shit. Treat them like hell, nigga. Give them hell. Give them hell, nigga. You heard? Your pussy! Hey, bring the camera or something. Bring the camera. All the young girls who want to make life with pussy, your pussy will perish with you in hell. May your pussy perish with you. May your smooth pussy, creamy pussy, and tight pussy perish with you. Give them hell, man. That's what they deserve. That's what they want. That's what they ask them for. When I get good niggas, I drag their dog ass through the mud. So you trying to tell me a, a, a woman don't like a nigga, a simp? I don't want no nigga I can, I can manipulate. Why would you want? A man is a man. He's not a, 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 he's supposed to be, right? So at any given time, you should be able to, you see how he just was like, oh, you loud. So what? Nigga, fuck off. Now, if this nigga would have said, hey, hey, sit down and um, tone that down. I'm, you know what I'm saying? So what, nigga? Loud, fuck off. That's how bitches are. That, they don't deserve no dates. This woman don't deserve a date at all in life. She really don't deserve no dick. You know? She really don't. I probably would have been. I'm you know what I'm saying? It's I'm the difference this. in the men or the people that you deal with. No, men that, are men. That, like, I'm Nobody fine. wants somebody that's so, so again, So no, again, as women, if a nigga... If you, if, I can't speak for women. I'm if you're gonna, myself. If you're gonna walk over a nigga, so he got, so he, he, he's a simp. So you're gonna walk over it. Look, they gotta slap you in the mouth a few times. Ain't nobody slapping. So if they goal is to walk over, well, why would you step to him about a date? That's stupid. That's a waste of both of y'all time. This is a loud mouth ass bitch. What the fuck you want to be in a in a restaurant with her for? Nobody in the mouth. No, no, no. Fuck around no this is what mouth. it is. If they know that. <laughs> You don't do nice things for these bitches. And dating is a nice thing. Shout out to bro. Rich Turner, you say German Shepherd is a funny than a it's funny than a motherfucker. Yeah, man. You don't take no loud mouth ass bitch like that, man. To no goddamn restaurant, man. That's what's that, man. Listen, man, do y'all want to do these calls? Because I put these calls up every time and you niggas be scared to call. You know what I'm saying? Because if not, I can go get my fish sandwich. <laughs> I know y'all niggas be at work. Be with your bitch. You scared to tell her you watch my show. You scared that she gonna take the pussy away, you know? Pervert. You are a pervert. Yeah, man. If y'all wanna do these calls, man, let me get the ones in the chat. If y'all wanna do these calls. If not, I will just see y'all tonight, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cause y'all niggas be acting all scared, man. It's happening, man. Pervert. Let's see if y'all wanna do these calls. I'm going to see if y'all want to do these calls. Okay, real one, then you need to be calling in. Perfect. RL, you need to be calling in. Perfect. Who else? All you niggas hitting the one. Y'all need to be calling in. Perfect. 
I don't want to hear none of that bullshit. Donald Jones, you need to be calling in. Not bullshitting. The numbers on the screen. We're gonna see who real. We're gonna see who real today. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Beta Male Police. He said niggas couldn't match his 150. Bro, we appreciate that, bro. Cell HD need to be calling in. J Hugh Mill Ford need to call in. Let's see, man. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening, nigga. I don't want to hear all that bullshit today, nigga. Let's see what's happening, man. Let's see what's happening, man. Night Stabber, need to see if you're gonna call in. Let's see. Let's see what's happening. Oh, no. Here they go with this shit. We are currently experiencing an issue with our broadcasting system. Our engineers are working on the issue. Let me see if I can get this shit working. Let me just, let me just try. Now they want to put this big ass alert on the screen. Welcome to Blog Talk Radio. Let's see. We're going to see. We're going to see if it's going to allow us to do the call. If not, it ain't my fault. To start your show now, press 1. To hear- your show is scheduled to start in right, let's 18 see. seconds. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We are sorry, but we are experiencing a problem with our system. Please try your call again later or report a problem through the Blog Talk Radio webpage. Ain't shit how they do, man. You see how they do? When the church, when the church ready to cook? Y'all, all right, I'm going to put the link in the chat. I'll do some video calls. We are sorry, but we are experiencing a problem with our system. Please try your call again later. All right, so just so y'all know, I wasn't bullshitting. Did somebody ever like, nah, job bullshit? He just wanted to go fuck with that bitch and get eat a booty smoothie. Oh, <coughs> All right, I'm putting the link in the chat. Let me see. Let me see who in this motherfucker, man. Let me see who in this motherfucker, man. I'm putting the link in the chat. Feel free to hit the link. I'm going to give y'all some time to hit that link. If y'all hit that link, we can keep going. If not, I'll see y'all in a few. You did? Special delivery. It's the 126. Cut that shit up, Basil. Where's my bitch? Open the foot hole. Let up in the throw. Where's my bitch? Open the foot hole. Let up in the throw. I'm not rich. Open the foot hole. Let up in the throw. Where's my bitch? Open the foot hole. Let up in the throw. All right, all right, all right. We got a couple of people that hit the link so far. Let's see what we got, man. All right, niggas get the last laugh. What's happening, bro? Oh man, dog, you lucky you caught me at a good time. I just caught the middle of the church. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 loud and clear. Yep, man, I'm in Japan. I partied all night with Japanese hoes, and I'm got to go downstairs to the sauna and get my happy ending, just like a <laughs> pervert. Oh man, you, you know? are a pervert. pervert. But this whole shit right here, what you're talking about right here, absolutely accurate. These hoes, like, I don't even take hoes out on dates no more, especially the American ones. They, they're just a waste of time. You know, it's just uh, uh, one of my uh, one of my friends on Facebook was talking about this earlier, and she was just like, 
I've been dating for, I've been single for 10 years and I refuse to settle. This and this and this and this and this. And uh -huh. I got up on there. Yeah, you know what's coming. And I just told her, I'm just like, you've been single for X, Y, and Z because all the night, you've been just talking to nice guys. They don't really tickle your fancy like that. You know what I'm saying? But she did speak some truth. She was just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, there were some nice guys in there, but most of them were emotional with baggage who don't brush their teeth or wash their face or anything like that. You know what I mean? It's always got to be some dusty-ass situation. You know what I'm saying? It, it, but it, 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 it's the same old bullshit each and every fucking day. You know? Oh, men ain't shit. Oh, this and that. You know, it, it, it's just ridiculous. These hoes want, these hoes are conditioned to want trauma in their life. All right? Why would you spend a hundred bucks, let alone any money on a bitch who's just going to add trauma to you? Are you are you trying to kill yourself internally? Yeah. And that's the question niggas got to ask themselves. You know, they niggas, hoes criticize me. Oh, you in Japan, you in Korea, you in all these fucking countries. You know what I'm saying? You can't handle a real woman and anything like that. Says the woman who has uh, uh, six kids by six different men. All right? Yep. And you don't want me to spend my hard-earned money. You know, I'm hustling out here, grinding, do whatever I got to do, you know, on your little raggedy ass. Just well, like the They got the nerve to dictate dates because niggas let them. Oh, yeah. And it's because of the trick valuation, too. The trick value system, you know? Oh, yeah. let me tell you how it is in other countries. Like right now, like I didn't, uh, ever since I got here for spring break, I, you know, I've been fucking around with at least five hoes. Two of them are married and they took me out. Mm. You know? That's the game right there. Yes, exactly. And I keep telling these niggas, I'm just like, even though most of the time it's a language barrier between me and the Japanese broad, you know, she understands real masculinity. The Japanese broad isn't difficult. All you, all they're really looking for is Prince Charming to sweep her off her feet. Literally. And a green you know card. what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's literally what they want. And most of them never seen Dick before. That's why they're so shy interacting with people like that. You know? It's mm -hmm. ridiculous. It's, it's, that's why, you know, a even a nigga with no game at all if he just comes as himself, he has a better chance of hitting it, like stroking it rich out here than back in America where a hose will spot him, abuse him, and abuse him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Any last words for us, bro? I'm going to take another caller. Yeah, man. It's just, uh, I just have to get my two cents in. You're right for taking another call. Let me get this happy ending of, of praise to the church, fuck bell hooks, and long live uh, Kevin Samuels, you perverts. <laughs> There you go, nigga. Here's a pervert. Got my nigga EV in the building. What up, Brody? Broski, he called us a pervert. He about to be a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 like, that he, 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 he had the massage parlor getting his jerked off and shit. <laughs> <laughs> pervert. Hey, sure. Oh, hey, pervert. And you know she gonna ask him how much, how much for extra tip. <laughs> yeah. Man, I, listen. I'm a topic, bro. Huh? Say so how you feel about this topic, bro. Man, let me tell you don't something. Man. Goddamn dates, nigga. You are one hundred percent right. They don't deserve dates. They don't even deserve speaking to them. I'm gonna tell you something, man. I'm I'm a gym rat, man, and a lot of these broads, man, they they have this thing to where they want you to, you know, you know they you know you know expect you to walk, you know, fly over them, kiss their ass. And all that other good stuff, man. I mean, the sad part about it is that is that there's no humility with them anymore. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like for them to do, you know, for them to require something, they don't do anything to deserve anything. Like I said the other night in the chat, I said, you know, they want you to take them to all these nice uh, restaurants, but can they cook? Can they cook the stuff they require from you? You follow what I'm saying? You know, what can they do? that can match what they're asking you for man and you know i mean and you 100 right they gotta earn that shit, man they gotta earn it if they don't earn it then there's no need and and it's just like recreational you know when you start talking about that man it's just like the whole thing with the recreational is like 
they don't understand that they category that they place themselves in categories. They don't understand that. They with, with a nasty stank ass attitude. It's just like it's a pervasive problem. It's like all of these women are really acting like that, man. And it's just like, you know, it, and it's sad that our black women, Trump 24, that's right, is you know, you know, you know, one of the sad parts about it is that man, you know, they talk about that we're this, we hate women, and we're anti-women. No, it's a disappointment because the thing that has your reflection should be the most indebted or should be the, you know, should be protecting you the most. It's like this, every other race of women, they protect their men. I always kick us in, what what they try to kick us in the ass, but since the church has been around, it's like, no, you're losing and you're gonna continue to lose. Yep. You know, I, you're love to I love it. You know what I'm saying? So I love it too, man, but I'm just saying, I I, I just had to pop on, man, and, and just look you in your beige face and say you're a pervert, man. You're a, a total, Chicago. All right, bro. Bro, going crazy. Yo, Sigma, what up? What's happening? What's happening, Jeff? What's good, fam? Man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Just peace to the church. You know what I'm saying? I'm having a a, a, day, a day with my son. You know what I'm saying? My son was born in November. You know what I'm saying? My wife's at work. You know what I'm saying? I just I saw you holding him, man. Blessings to your son, fam. Thank you, man. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you should he be having these old ass white ladies going crazy up from when I walk them in the mall or something. They be losing their fucking minds. They be like, oh my gosh, that beige baby. Oh my gosh, that beige baby. Everybody loves beige babies, man. <laughs> Low key, they be on that beige power shit. <laughs> my wife be saying beige power. She be like, fuck you, fuck all the other niggas. But uh man, honestly. I was just talking on on Instagram on some shit through the comments, and this uh this segment kind of remind me of this. To be real, like you said it earlier about that girl who was talking shit about dudes and jobs and shit, talking about oh you should you don't be dating if you ain't got your money up. Yeah, that's true and somewhat, but let's be honest, man, black man, why y'all niggas out here down bad acting like you the Asian man, nigga? You you guys out here like with the fucked up insecurity and shit fucking with these let me tell you something nigga the reason why i'm gonna be real the reason why my motherfucking son's so damn cute because i went and got what i wanted a racially ambiguous bitch you think i want to fuck with some bald-headed fucking bitch talking about i gotta put in my weave in before i feel pretty bitch fuck all that get what the fuck you want black man stop fucking with these damn wolves these motherfucking Nigga, these bitches be whole wolves, nigga. Like motherfucking just beasts, just beasts. You know what I'm saying? Crawling from the motherfucking darkness. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, these black bitches be looking like these bitches from motherfucking Alien. You know what I'm saying? Alien vs Predator and shit. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck is wrong with y'all? See, and I live in Colorado. The problem with you niggas all around. See, I got a lot of niggas that from the South, Chicago too. I ain't gonna lie to you, Jap. Chicago too. They be coming out here and they be coming with that bullshit game. They be out here like, oh, nigga, I got me a Becky. Nigga, you got you a bitch who, who dressed like a black girl. Fuck all that shit, bro. Fuck, stop trying to get bitches that mimic the black girl. Get a bitch who's who thinks for herself. You see what I'm saying? Who's for all that goofy shit talk with her slick back, slick back hair and big ass motherfucking hoop earrings. You know what I'm saying? She didn't knocked up by 15 damn other niggas and shit just because she think you the you the you the final boss black dude she want to fuck with. Yeah, we got a lot of them niggas out here too, Jack. You know what I'm saying? It's not just the black girls they be bigging up. They be bigging up these motherfucking cash me outside bitches and shit. You know what I'm saying? Be sitting here shaped like motherfucking whole cylinders and shit. You see what I'm saying? Black man, get your fucking insecurities right. Get that shit together. There's no fucking way y'all should be out here down bad. Y'all yep. look goofy as hell. Fucking yep. with these damn... Oh, nigga, I'm, t I'm, I'm serious, Jap. Man, I don't know how it is out in Chicago and shit, but Jap, you come out here to Colorado, man, I'm telling you, you're going to fucking laugh because this shit is a joke. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and it's funny because people be always giving me compliments about my wife. Like, oh, my gosh. She's not, not men, but, you know, women and shit. And, oh, my gosh, your wife's so pretty. It's because I'm like, because I held out. I, I refuse to touch, man. I went to a school with a bunch of black hoes. I was like, hell no, I don't want none of you fucking nigga wolves. You know what I'm saying? I chose the bitch who was choosing me. She was on my dick. She walked up to me, nigga. I ain't walk up to no bitch. You, my wife will tell you straight up. Yeah, I walked up to him. 
that nigga was fun. I wanted that. Luckily, Loki on some real shit. I liked her. I liked my wife, but she didn't know I liked her. To be honest with you, that's the that's how it really happened in high school. I didn't know this fine ass fucking racially ambiguous bitch was fucking with me. I was like, I'm sorry for calling a bitch. My bad. She my wife. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she might be. <laughs> she she's a good woman. She a good woman. She a really good woman. No real talk. You know what I'm saying? But like. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I was, you know what I'm saying? I was like, God damn, this dick ass motherfucker fucking with me. I was like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? That nigga in there. And it's been yeah. cool ever since. You can't be out here chasing a bitch, man. Fuck with a bitch who's fucking with you because she gonna get on your program. Man, my wife, she the best supporter. I do whatever the fuck I want. You know what I'm saying? Because she fuck with me. I ain't ch- I ain't chase her. You know what I'm saying? All her friends that are all chase that are all fucked up because niggas is chasing them. Yeah, they all fucked up because of that. You see what I'm saying? She the only one out of all her friends that's happily married because she chased me, nigga. The fuck? She on my motherfucking program, nigga. My son, she understands when it comes to my motherfucking son. That's what you black men need to fucking learn, nigga. You get your motherfucking kids in order, you get it right, you get a good bitch. That's how you get your family in order. My son understands who the fuck I am. Even at four fucking months, he's like, damn, like, daddy, a real G. Because I chose a good woman, bitch. There you go. Brother, we appreciate you hitting us up, man. Blessings to you, man. Let me get the next yes, talk, man. Glad you say. All right, bro. Southern, who we got, bro? You ain't here? Uh, I guess bro, bro stepped away from the camera. All right. Well, shit, I guess we're going to end the show. Let me see. We're going to end this off then. Uh, shout out to uh, You Go Boss channel with the $5 holler. Said, Jap, tell him to get off the keyboard. Go outside. Carry yourself like a man. Get in her face. Talk with some bass and some energy. Spend little to no money. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, nigga. Yes, 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 sir, nigga. Yep. Yeah, man. Hey, man, I appreciate all you motherfuckers coming through, man. We gonna hang it up, man. You know what I'm saying? Much love and blessings to you motherfuckers, man. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook, where I piss bitches off daily. Follow me on Twitter. Make sure y'all join the Patreon. It's only $5, man. Love price. You dig? But we gonna get up out of here. You are a pervert. Much love to the church. You already know, man. These bitches don't deserve dates. Stop giving it to them. I'm out. Church, 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 check in. It's your boy, Minister Jack. Listen, I know y'all been looking for me, but at the bottom of this video in the description section, you see where it says follow me. You can follow me on all social media platforms. You know, make sure you click the links in the description so you can get in touch with me and get in tune with everything I post at all times. You never know, the haters might try to take us down. Also, make sure you follow my backup channel, Minister Jack Church Media. Follow the channel now. We are, we are not going nowhere. We're here to stay. Make sure y'all paying attention. Church on the move. Peace. Minister Jap, I'm talking to you, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I got a kid. I got, I got two daughters and a son. Yeah, man. Black women are bad mothers. And that's why you having a baby by the motherfuckers you had a baby with is your fault. That's why you being a single mother is your fucking fault. That's why being a baby daddy ass nigga is your fault. Live from the church. Church check in. It's Minister Jack. Black women, they're some of the most worst bitches on with money, but yet they're still taking trips and they look fly doing. They are the flyest, broken bitches you're gonna ever deal with. On Minister Jack TV. Church check in, man. Church check in.